Hello and welcome back to another Purity Vanilla Minecraft episode. A Purely Vanilla Anarchy server where we have just discovered a base to raid. Now this base raid is brought to you by Pyray, something I'm not going to talk about very much because my buddy Thesto is going to cover it later. But basically we are using a debug screen to be able to locate a base pretty quickly. It seems a lot like hacking, it's not. It's it's actually really simple once you get to know it, but like I said I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to spoil it for Thesto. I've just found a base within 100,000 of spawn and it looks like it might have been already found by this person, but I noticed that there's still some stuff in it, so this is going to be a real quick raid, then we'll move on to the rest of the video. I've been exploring, as you can tell from my completely messy inventory, um, and I'm not really sure what I can get rid of here. This this is what I saw that made me decide, oh okay, I, I actually will record this. We, we've got all these blocks of redstone and everything, I'm not going to take all of the blocks of redstone because it's redstone. Fire protection one, an unbreaking one, diamond helmet. That's better than what I have right now. So I'm actually going to... Oh my gosh. My inventory. Is there anything else worth my time? Not really right there, but I noticed... The way that I noticed this base was because of this enchanting table. It kind of gave it all away. And then... Oh, here's our nether portal. We'll totally have to check that out. Um, I've got my silk touch pickaxe right here. So let's go ahead and just mine up all these bookshelves. They'll be great for enchanting stuff later. I don't know why I just looked at these chests and I'm like, well, there's nothing here. There's a whole nother wall of chests. <laughs> Is there anything useful in these? Netherrank, cobble, nothing, nothing. Uh, we've got some gunpowder, I will take that just for the sake of uh, rockets. Do definitely want to go through their nether portal, and I honestly might destroy this place, not because I have anything against them, but because I want to see if there's any secret chests around here. And it's griefed already, it, it's really close to the highways. They're, they're not going to be able to do much here anyways. Let's check out the nether portal, see if there is anything worth looking at. I really doubt it, but let's see. Yeah, you can see a bridge off in the distance. This is like right below the highway. This space is super, super unsafe. Alright, I've done about all I can in this space. I'm not seeing any hidden chests and the like. So I'm not really expecting to find anything with this TNT blast, but... Hey, it's time to move on for this person, and I think we have to be the one to tell them that, unfortunately. So, we'll go ahead and do this. This is my first base that I found on this server, and it's not anything huge, but hey, got a unbreaking one helmet out of it, which I didn't have, because I'll talk about that in a bit, actually. I'm also finally getting better at understanding how Pyre works. Oh, gosh. I almost completely missed this. Oh, look at that! They've got a little sugarcane farm, which I will gladly take the sugarcane from, because rockets. This is not how you do water elevators anymore, my dude. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. Time to say goodbye to this base. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit further away so that we don't completely die. You can tell that I don't grief very often. <laughs> Oh my. That's a little bit better. Not seeing anything secret. Nope, looks like just a normal base, but hey, we got a, a nice chest plan out of it. We got an enchanting table, and I think all the bookshelves will need for a full enchanting set. So, pretty sweet. By the way, I am changing my ideology for this series a little bit. I've been trying not to progress outside of episodes so that you guys can see me make all of my progress. I think we're going to be changing that in order to have more interesting content, more exciting stuff to show you guys every episode, rather than me getting diamond armor. Me getting netherite armor. Me going on a mining trip. You guys don't care about that stuff, so let's cut 
the middleman, and I'll show you what I find that's exciting, but you guys aren't going to see my whole journey anymore. Um, it's going to be more more clips of interesting things that I find. So as I just said, because I am doing more clips, I'm also probably going to have times where I'm not actually in my face box recording live. Um, we're going to have to do some clips like this, which is more of voiceover me reacting to what I recorded prior. And I do that just because I have a wife, I have college, I've got a lot of things going on, so sometimes it's easier for me to record and play while I don't have to do commentary and I'm able to hang out with my wife or do other things while I'm recording and I don't have to be 100% focused on doing this live. So there will be clips like this where I am doing it after the fact and I'm reacting to what I've previously recorded. This face box, this is after the fact, what you're seeing on screen of the gameplay, that's in the past for me. So right here, I am using Pyray to try and help me locate a base. Again, I can't go into too much detail yet, I'm hoping Thesto does a video on it soon, so that I can be more open about how I use Pyray, all the intricacies of that, because it is a really cool process, and it is crazy underused for vanilla servers. I've been on vanilla-ish rating servers for a long, long time for nearly as old as my channel is, and I've never even heard of Pyray. This is a crazy underused feature. So I started digging down, I have no idea how high this base is, and you can see we've got the, the nether wart here, and we've got the fire. It looks so cool! <laughs> Another enchanting table, I think that's what I was looking at on the Pyray, was hey, there's an enchanting table in this chunk, so if I dig down, hopefully we'll be able to find it. There was somebody's dog that they left here! Poor doggo, it didn't have a name or anything. And then I also found this map, which led to a couple locations. I went to them and I recorded it. You can see there's some green markers on this map. I, I went that there was a cat at both locations. So I don't really know what these spots were symbolizing. I didn't see anything below the surface, so I kind of just ignored them. You can see there's a Tutlamayu's Bunker 2. So apparently this base was made in 2020, so it is... It's actually a, a fairly old base, if this sign is to be believed. I did end up exploding parts of this base as well, looking for a secret chest, didn't find one. I always love blowing up big chest sections because of all the items on the ground. I forgot the dog was there, but don't worry, it's still alive. Look, it gets hurt, but it's fine. And I fed it some steak so that it wouldn't be angry and you guys wouldn't hate me, and so I wouldn't hate myself. And that's all there was to that base, there wasn't a whole lot there, but I'm just so happy that I'm able to find bases using this Pyray. So as I kept flying, looking around with the Pyray, I noticed something not on the Pyray, but just above ground. This ginormous castle thing. It had this roller coaster thing going all the way through, and you know we have to ride that roller coaster. This base looked so cool, and it was really, really cool to go around it. I didn't really find anything of value in this location, but there was a big cactus farm. We've got a bunch of signs on this nether portal. I don't know if these were members of the base, or if these were people who had visited. I'm not really sure, but it wasn't. It didn't appear to be griefed at all, so it didn't seem like, you know, a bunch of people had been here and blown stuff up and taken a bunch of stuff. Although there wasn't much of value, so possibly. I did leave my name on a sign here, so that people people knew that I'd been here. Then there was this big map of the entire base. I took all four map pieces. As I kept looking around though, I did find these diamond gear pieces. And again, since I haven't progressed very far up to this point, this was a lifesaver. Dempstriner 3, we had all these enchantment books, these helmets, and there was this giant pit. I don't really know what this was for. It might have just been for how it looked, but it was this big water stream thing, and, and I went down there, and there wasn't really anything there, but hey, it looked cool, so... They had a bunch of pearl loaders here. All of them were empty. I have no idea what happened to this base, if all the members decided to leave, if somebody loaded these pearls, maybe. I have no idea. 
Again, this place was beautiful. I loved all these towers and the roller coaster going through it, all the bridges between them. There wasn't anything in the towers, but they looked really cool. They even had this little hut up by the, the roller coaster where they had villagers. So this makes me think that people didn't come and, you know, take a bunch of stuff because griefers you would usually kill the villagers and these villagers were masters. They had, you know, looting three, unbreaking three, you can see mending right there. Like, they had a whole lot of stuff on these villagers and nobody had killed them. So, I don't know what happened to this base. Whose is it? I don't know. I found a villager breeder. You can see all these beds down here, an iron golem. I assume this is where they, they bred their villagers. The minecart trail was a bit broken, so again, I'm just so curious of as to what this base was and what happened to it. I didn't end up griefing this base because it's gorgeous and there's no point to grief it. And that's going to do it for this episode of Purity Vanilla. Next episode, I'm going to show you guys the base of a group that I have decided to base with. And that is going to be really, really cool. So thank you for staying tuned today. I really enjoy the bases that I found. And I hope to be able to use Pyrite in future videos to be able to find even more cool bases. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And goodbye!